And we're just getting ready for the kickoff right now as Shane Leckler is lining it up. Dossett is a return man for Baylor at the goal line on the far side. And it's Randy Davis here on the near side. Dossett's returned 11 this year for an average of 20 per return. His longest has been 21, 31. Randy Davis has one. Here's the kickoff, and it's going to drive uh, Dossett back into the end zone. He'll take it on the fly, take the knee, and bring it out to the 20-yard line. Single setback. They've been running more out of a one uh, uh, setback formation over the last two games than they did to start the year. And the handoff goes in the backfield. And caught and dropped back at the 18 will be Daryl Bush by Brian Gamble. Second and 12, three wides to the right, right and left. Throw it out in the flats left side. Make it the right side. Caught by Fuller behind the line on a screen right. He gets a yard to the 21. Single setback. That looks like that will be Lagway. So he comes in. They've got three wides on the left. Straight drop by Alford. Looking for a man. Throws the ball. Caught at the 40-yard line. Breaks a tackle across the 50. Down to the Aggie 44. That pass is caught by Martin Dossett. Andrew Obriati is the tight end on the left side. Slot right. Now this time they run from an eye formation. First down and 10. The handoff in the backfield goes to Bush. He'll hit the line of scrimmage. And is brought down after a half-yard gain, the 43-and-a-half. A slot to the right side. Actually, got to tie it in. Those guys are both in the backfield. Split in on the left. They'll throw to Cogdell on the sideline. Good turning catch. He makes it at the 36. Third down and two at the Aggie 36-yard line. They've got to get the Aggie 34. Man in motion, two tight ends, eye formation. And off will go to Bush. He hits the 35. It will not be enough for the first down. They tried the left side. But it'll be a 52-yard effort. The angle is back to the right. Hash mark to the left. Offered will be the holder. So a 52-yard effort. There's the snap. The ball is spotted down. The kick's on its way. It may be wide right. Let's see if it is. Did he get it through? He got it through from 52 out. His longest of the season. His long prior to that had been 40. So Kyle Atterbury puts Baylor up on their first possession of the ball game by a score of 3 to nothing. All right, Baylor is set to kick 3 to nothing. 11-24 to go in the first. Here's Atterbury's kick. Taylor was the deep man. He'll take it on a bounce at about the 8. Back to the 15. 20 up the middle he goes. Hits in there at the 29-yard line in broad down. So Chris Taylor at the 29. Eric Bernard will open at the tailback position. We've got two wides to the right, one to the left. Tied in is De Torre on the right side of the formation. McCowan is under center. Seth McKinney. The handoff will go to... Eric Bernard, he hits the right side, and there he's stopped by Chris Meshaw. The Aggies now will show an eye formation on second down and 11. Toombs will be the lead back, and Bernard will follow him. McCowan's under center, waiting for the snap, has it, drops back, throws out this way on the right side, and the ball will be caught across the 35, about the 35 and a half. Split back formation. You've got Stacy Jones, the walk-on fullback, the freshman from Midland, set up on the left side. Drops back to throw. Ball is thrown and knocked down. Incomplete. Out across the 40 at about the 42-yard line. Line of scrimmage will be the 35 and a half. The return man for Baylor set up back at the 15. Good snap. And the punts away. Another nice one by Shane Leckler. Here's Fuller taking it at the 2-yard line. Here comes the return. Make him pay for it, and they did. Dropped him at the 10-yard line. Big-time mistake by Fuller. The eighth time he's returned to punt, his average is 8.7, so he's right at his average. First down and 10, a handoff of the backfield. The Aggies stuff it at the 9-yard line. Second down and still 10. Hash to the left. They put a man in motion out of an eye formation. Here's Alford. Gets out of the pocket. Now gets it back to about the 11. He was forced out of the pocket. Ran straight ahead along the hash mark on this near side. All right. It's going to be third down and a little more than nine. Out of a shotgun. Baylor will run this play. There's the snap. A little bit high. Alford's got it. Steps up to the five. Throws. Intercepted. Texas A&M. 10-5. Touchdown. That's Jamison. Intercepted the ball at... About the 19-yard line, so he's going to get it in for a TD. And how about your, your wrecking crew and the INTs? That's Jamison, and he gets his second touchdown of the season and his third interception of the year. Trying to pick up the first down at a, with about a nine-yard route out at the 19-yard line. He just never saw Michael Jamison, who anticipated this pass beautifully, read offered, and then stepped right in front of the receiver, took it the 19 yards for the touchdowns. The Aggie for the touchdown. The Aggies lead at six to three. Here's the extra point. It's good. It's seven to three at the 825 mark here in the first quarter. That'll be the fourth time this season that Jermaine Offord of Baylor has been picked off. The 17th time in his career he's been intercepted. 
Here goes Lackler approaching the ball, end under end, the cruise kick. It will be short and will be taken by Davis at about the nine. Good return across the 20, out across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Randy Davis, Dossett goes wide to the right side. Coggles here on this side. And they've got a slot man now in the slot left. Single setback. Alford's under center. Steps back, takes the uh, ball, throws at the 40, out across the 40 to about the 48-yard line. That's Larry Osteen. Osteen makes the reception. Eight minutes to go in the first. The Aggies lead Baylor 7-3. to three. Eye formation, tied in left. Fullback gets the handoff, and he hits over the left side for maybe a yard. And that'll be about all. So second down and about eight from the Aggie of Baylor, 49 and a half. Out in the flats, ball will be caught. Again, that will be Osteen. Caught it at the 50, trying to advance the ball into AM territory. He does down to the 46 yard line. So Osteen got open again. Have two men lined up in the backfield, tie it in left, straight drop by Offer, throws the ball over the middle, try and uh, hit the, that the fullback out of the backfield or the tie it in. It may have been the tie it in. It was and out around the point needed for the first down. All right, we're going to send uh, Bethel Johnson back since uh, Hall is out over on the far side. That will be Jason Webster. Atterbury's their punter, takes the snap back at the Baylor 40, tries to pooch this one. It's uh, trying to get it to the far sideline, and that's a good kick. It will be killed by Baylor and Fuller at the Aggie six-yard line. At the six, so about the seven-yard line, first down and ten for the Aggies. They come out with a flanker left and a, uh, a split in. Here's a handoff. It goes to Bernard, bottled up okay, for about a yard Bernard. gain, no more than that. They'll play without a tight end. Split in here on the left side will be Chris Cole. Eye formation on a second down and again about 10. The handoff will go to Bernard. There's a little bit of a hole. we got a flag down as he gets across the 10 to about the 11 and a half yard line. Bernard trying to pooch that and kick it outside here to the left. Bring up second down at about five. On the defense, five yards from the previous spot, still second down. Got the two tight ends and eye formation. Flanker wide here to the right side. McCowan waiting for the snap. He has it. And the handoff will go to Eric Bernard to try to strip the ball away from him. He will carry for a... Is that Jamar Toombs? Yeah, that's Toombs Jamar got, Toombs. Toombs got the carry, and he carries out for the first down to about the 18-yard line. Here we go back to the line of scrimmage, and again, it's an eye behind McCowan. Seth McKinney is the Aggie center. There's the handoff to Toombs. The back gets it, turns Ball his back, push him with those Ball legs two. to the 21-yard line. Eye formation lined up behind McCowan. Favors the hash to the left, takes the snap, drops back under pressure, gets away from one man, won't get away from the next, drop back at the 15-yard line, they had two men coming up the middle, one of those guys was Fred Rogers, <laughs> Justin Snow in the lineup now, he moves into the defensive end position, moves over to the right side, there's the snap, rolling here to the right, dropping back to the eight, throwing the ball, incomplete, he was trying to get the ball here. Bumgardner about the 28-yard line and threw it into the ground. Line of scrimmage is the Aggie 16-yard line. The return man for Baylor is dropping back here to the 30. There's the snap. It's a good one. Outside pressure. Got the kick away. It's a little bit wobbly. Going to take a hop and picked up now at about the 43 by Cogdell back across the 50 to the 43-yard line. First down and 10, Baylor at the Aggie, 43, drop back, throw out in the flat spot, called, uh, it's caught rather behind the line at the 45, and they're going to turn that into a nice gainer. He's got the ball back down to around the 43-yard line, that's where they operate now, and second down and three after a seven-yard pickup. Handoff goes to Bush, tries the right side, gets it to the 35, maybe 34 and a half. It's third down, about a yard for Baylor, handoff. We'll go to Lagway, and he's got more than the first down across the 30. It looked like he was stopped at the line, and then a little burst of speed over the left side gets him down inside the 30 to the 27 and a half yard line. With the success of Sammy Morris last week for Texas Tech, Baylor's trying the big back as well. Single setback. It's going to go to Lagway. Tries the left side, and he is free down to the 10. He's to the 5. He is inside the 5 to about the 1. He bursts. Dave, he was trying to get it wide left and then cut it back to his right. He stays in as the fullback. Actually, a tailback. They bring in the other fullback. That's Jimmy Dalton. Put a man in motion with two tight ends. They had motion. Lagway moved before the snap. And that's a critical mistake in the red zone when you're on the one-yard line with four shots at, at punching it in, and you get the five-yard penalty for motion, and he was definitely moving. First eye formation behind Jermaine Alford. Have a flanker wide right and two tight ends. Offered. There's the snap. Going to run the option. Going to the right side. Caught from the backside and drug down at the seven. 
And that will be Chad Franson and Jason Glenn on the stop. Five single setback. Put a man in motion right to left. Offer the snap. Shallow pocket trying to throw over the head of the intended receiver. And there's going to be a flag down at the goal line. It's going to be defensive pass interference on Texas A&M. And to uh, Osteen. Holding on the defense. Off the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Ash right, two tight ends, eye formation, flanker to the short side. Minute four to go in the first. And the handoff will go to the first man through. That'll be the fullback. Full house backfield, two tight ends. Offered the snap, wants to throw the ball. Dropping back, looking end zone. Almost fell down. Now he is caught and dropped at the 10-yard line. And the tackle made by Lonnie Madison. Well, he was rolling right, and he had a, a double-level pattern back to the right side, one deep all the way back on the end line, and one receiver short. They were both very well covered, and Lonnie Madison caught up to Jermaine Alford before he could pull the ball down and find a place to run. This is going to be a big loss back to the 10-yard line, and that's also going to be the end of the first quarter. All right, they'll have it third down and goal at the Aggie 10 when we start the second quarter. And AM leading Baylor by a score of 7-3. to three. three wides to the left. Single setback will be Lagway. Tie it in on the right. Close sides to the right. Straight drop by Alford. Looking into the end zone. Now trying to run. Gets it down inside the 10 to about the 6. Ran it straight ahead along the hash marks. Single back to the left. 23-yard effort as we see it. And in this area, he is 2 out of 3 for the year. Waiting for the snap. It's down. The kick's on its way. And he's going to nail that one. So now it's a 7-6 to A&M lead over Baylor. And it's 14-16 to go here in the second period. Aggies lead by a point. Atterbury approaches the ball. Here's his kickoff. Taylor will drop back a yard deep in the end zone on the near side to take the return back to the 10 to the 15. 20, little seam there, 25. Now he is tackled by a couple of Baylor kickoff men. Flag down. Another flag down. He was uh, tackled at the 27-yard line. 163 Good passing, ball. 262. Personal foul on the receiving team. Dead ball. Personal foul on the kicking team. Offset. First down. So first down and 10 at their own 27. Ash to the left. He got an eye formation lined up here behind McCowan. There's the snap. Toombs running at the tailback position. Gets the handoff across the 30 out to the 34-yard line. So Toombs now shows up at tailback and carries it to the 34. Tight ends on the right side. You got a flanker to the right and a split in on the left. Long snap count here by McCowan. Pitch it going right. Bernard cuts it back to his left. Good hole out across the 40, 45, and he's down at the 46-yard line. Brought down by Sean Armistead. First down, Texas A&M. Bernard, 5'9", 190, senior with uh, two letters out of Tulsa Union. First down and 10 at the 47-yard line. Deep pitch again, right side, Bernard looks for some running room, and this time stopped at the 49-yard line. Second down and seven, ball at the Aggie 49, hash right, eye formation. Here is McCowan throwing out in the flats to the right side. That'll be caught by Cole. Cole across the Baylor 45, shy of a first down by a half yard. Third down and short. Got Stacy Jones as the fullback. Toombs the tailback. Handoff will go to Toombs looking for a first down. Churning those legs. He'll get it to the 42-yard line. That went over the right side. The tight end is here on the left side. Eye formation. McCowan may be calling an audible. Turns and looks at both sides of his offense. Has the ball. Drops back two. Throws to Taylor. Caught at the 40. Broke a tackle. Now he's across the 35 to the 33. Not quite a first down. But a nice uh, run after the catch. Chris Taylor tackled by Andre Taylor. Split in left, and uh, that will be Bethel Johnson. Got a Hodge wide right as a flanker. The handoff goes to Toom. Got a hole right side. Cuts it back to his left side, and he's caught by the ankle. That's a first down as he carries to the Baylor 26-yard line. McCowan made some hand gestures, and now will hand off to Toombs. Toombs across the 25, goes to about the 23-yard line. Tried the middle. Bowie made the uh, stop. Second down and seven. Balls at the Baylor 23. Eye formation behind McCowan. Two wides right. Handoff goes to Bernard. Has a hole on the outside. Cuts it across the 20. Now back to his right. Goes to the 20. Make it 17-yard line. Billy Yates checks into the lineup now at the 
And he got him in there in the left guard position. He's in that lineup. Here's the handoff. Goes to Toombs. Has a hole. He's across the 15. He's got the first down to the Baylor 12. First down and 10 at the Baylor 12-yard line. Ball equidistant between the hashes. And here's the handoff. Toombs. He's fighting his way right up the middle. Fighting his way right through the offensive line. And then into the Baylor secondary. Down shy of the... Six. Toombs back at the tailback. Stacy Jones, the fullback, slide left. The handoff goes to Toombs. He's trying the middle again, and that's bottled up. Wide out here on this side, I think it's going to be Leroy Hodge, and the Ags will run from an eye formation. Coles the split in, and Hodge will be the flanker. There may have been some movement, but and here is a fumble and a handoff to Bernard, and there was a flag down. I think the Aggies moved before the snap. Dead ball. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense, five yards. Shotgun for Randy McCowan. He moved Toombs from his right back to his left, waiting on the snap. He has it, has time, steps up, throws, incomplete, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver at about the three-yard line. In this range, he is six out of seven for the season. Six out of seven. Aggies lead 7-6. to six. Leckler is the holder. It's down and it's on its way. And he hit that one. 27 yards. Field goal is good by Kitchens. Aggies now make it 10-6. to 7-18 to go until halftime. Up by four, the Aggies. Leckler kicking into a little bit of a north wind here today. Pretty good kick. And this will be taken at the uh, night about the goal line. Here's the return back to the 19 to the 20 to the 29 out to the 30 yard line. They got a flanker left split into the right. Hand off coming back to this side. That will be Bush. He's got good yardage. And now flag goes down. He goes out of bounds at the 39 yard line. Daryl Bush again a and rushing against North Texas. 27 carries, 164 yards. Six times in his career, he's been over 100 yards. And he came into the game today having carried 85 times, 356 yards. Move the ball back close to the Baylor 28. Hash right, single setback. Offered may have called an audible. Has the ball from his center. Throws out this way. Caught on the sideline and out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. That pass caught by Randy Davis. They've been passing 159 a game, running 132 yards a game. Ags will jump into the neutral zone. They're going to hand off to the lone setback, and that'll be Lagway, and he'll carry to the 34-yard line. Here's offsides against Texas A&M. So second down and seven will turn into second down and two. At the Baylor 38, hash to the right, single setback. Jermaine Alford, the Baylor quarterback. Centers Joe Jackson has the snap, hands off to Lagway. Try on the left side, caught in the backfield. Royal and Bradley and Ronald Flemons combined on that tackle for a loss back at the 36-yard line. So third down and four. They've got to get it to the 40. Ball is just across the 36. They put a man in motion. Osteen right to left going to the short side. Offer drops back pocket at the 29. Throws deep. And almost caught at the 40-yard line on a one-handed grab. And then it goes incomplete down at the Aggie 40. 547, clock stopped on the incomplete. Almost did get the block. Jamison blocked it out of bounds. Out of bounds at the Baylor 22 and a half yard line. Uh, Jamison came clean on the left side, did a nice move. He cut back underneath the blocker and got right in front of the punter. What a big day for Michael Jamison. He's already had an interception for a touchdown, and now a blocked punt will give the Aggies great field position just inside the Baylor 23-yard line. Two weeks in a row now that the Aggies will uh, block a punt. Aggies now have Joe Weber in at the tailback position. Toombs is the fullback. McCowan will be the quarterbacks and there's the handoff goes to Webster good carry a Weber rather and he carries across the 20 to about the 17 yard line and now Stacy Jones comes back in as the uh, fullback and tombs the tailback the handoff will go to Toombs. He tries the left side, wrapped up around the waist as he gets down to shy of the 13-yard line. Joe Weber will go back into the lineup. So Toombs at fullback, Weber at tailback, third and about one yard. Tight end on the right, slot to the left. Waiting for the snap. There it is. It's a pitch to Weber, looking for the right side. Now cuts back to his right. He's across the 10, has the first down. Started to cut that back to his left, then saw something wide right, 
and picks up about four yards for an Aggie first down. Rodney Smith and Samin Alamin, a junior out of Garland Lakeview Centennial High School, made the stop for Baylor. Weber stays in as the tailback and Toombs as the fullback on first and goal at the 10-yard line. Two wides to the left, the open side. The handoff goes to Weber. Hits the right side, gets two to about the eight-yard line. Not a whole lot there as they're trying to use McKinney and Samisi Hymuli and Andy Vincent. Second and goal from about the eight and a half for Texas A&M. Run the option, going to the right. McCowan keeps trying to break a tackle as he's going down. Boy, he was given a good uh, shot right in the chops as he got the ball down about the six and a half yard line. High formation behind uh, Randy McCowan on third and goal from about the six. Here's the pitch. He went back to Weber. Looks for the corner. Fights touchdown. Took it wide right. Got a nice block from Toombs at the corner at about the five. And that's all he needed. He beat the rest of the defense. Hit the corner pylon. Aggies get a touchdown. I don't know how many possessions. It was probably up around 35 possessions. Here's the extra points. And it is on the board. Terrence Kitchens now is, what, two today. So he is 17 out of 17 on his PATs. Aggies now lead 17 to 6. 2.38 to go until halftime. Leading Baylor here at Kyle Field. They'll get a return on this kickoff, and now caught at the 15. They took that return from about the 5. That was Martin Dossett, a junior out of Tyler, John Tyler. Brought down by the freshman from Aldean Eisenhower, Gerard Penwright. They expect good things out of Gerard in the future. First down and 10. They have the ball at about their 16-yard line. Ash to the left. And they'll hand off coming back this way. Go to hole. That is Bush out across the 20, 25-yard line. They're going to spot him, however. Knee down at the 24. 17 to 6 is our score. Under 2 to go until halftime. Slot right. Flanker way out to the left side. Single running back behind Jermaine Alford. And it's a draw out of the backfield to Lagway. Has the first down. And Moyes out across the 35. Now the 40, the 41-yard line before they get him down. Quick huddle by Baylor, but that was an outstanding move by Jermaine Offord. He carried out the fake extremely well on the draw, made it look like a pass play. Out of a shotgun, take the snap, drop back to the 32, dancing around, now moving, pressure from the backside, now caught as he gets back to the 39-yard line, shy of the line of scrimmage on that first and 10, and a timeout will be called with a minute 22 to go until halftime. Cornelius Anthony will end up making uh, that stop. Baylor's got the ball, second down, and about 10 and a half from their own 40. Here's Alford dropping back under pressure, throwing out in the flats, caught by Osteen. And run out of bounds here at about the 43-yard line. Baylor's got it third down and eight from their 43. They need midfields. Out of a shotgun. Alford throwing sideline, far side of the field, and it is incomplete. We're going to get a defensive pass interference call against Jay Brooks down at the 25. Well, that's going to give Baylor a first down. There's a minute and 11. On the defense, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. Going to move the ball now into AM territory at a minute 11 to go until halftime. First down and 10 at the Aggie 43. Ash right, single setback, three wides left. Offer drops back to the 50, throws, caught across the 35. Now trying to put a move on, I think that's Fuller. Fuller down to the 34-yard line, shy of a first down by about two yards. Brandon Jennings made the stop. Baylor goes without the benefit of a huddle. 55 seconds until halftime. And now they will whistle something dead here. I think A&M has asked for a, no, Baylor is going to ask for a timeout. Three trips here on the right side, tight end left. Offer drops back to the 41, steps up under pressure. Now he will be sacked back at the 38-yard line. Third down and four. They're at the line. Trips to the right. Offer drops back, throwing back this way. Over the head of the intended receiver, and into the sideline down at the 25. Spotted at the 44, the Aggie 44, angle back to the right. There's the snap. Ball spotted by Alford. Way short. That's going to just barely make the end zone. So it did not work. They show a shotgun. We will. Weber will be on the right side of McCowan. Toombs on the left. Two wides to the left. One to the right. The snap. Drop back to the 30. Out in the flats to Toombs. Has a block to the 40. 
And a man has him by the ankles at the 45, and they fall forward to the 47-yard line. Now the Aggies will use the first of three timeouts. Split backs, and McCowan will move under center on second down and less than a yard. McKinney will snap the ball here. He does. Drops back to the 40. Looks back here to the sideline. Throws. And was he out of bounds? He was caught, but out of bounds. Bethel Johnson at the Baylor 41-yard line. Under center on third down and very short. Sneaking for it will be McCowan. They'll have to stop the clock immediately to move the chain. He's going to line it up. Get another playoff here out of a shotgun formation. Running back on either side of McCowan. Line of scrimmage, the 50. Drops back to the 43. Throws far sideline. Intercepted by Baylor. And they're going to take it all. Let's see if they will. Ags and McCowan chasing him and out of bounds at the 10 with two seconds to go. They're going to try a field goal now from the 17. Back the angle back to the right. 27-yard effort. I don't think the spot was all that good. Didn't get it. Missed it. I think that uh, Alfred had trouble trying to hang on to the ball on the spot. And he missed it. 27-yarder. Didn't get it. Aggies dodge a bullet there. We'll take it to halftime. As the last two seconds will leave the board. An A&M leading Baylor 17-6. As we go to halftime here at Kyle Field. Seventeen to six. That's where we are right now. Here's the kickoff into the wind. It's a pretty good one. Bethel Johnson. Is that Johnson? Uh, back to the two-yard line. Back to the ten. To the fifteen. To the twenty. To the twenty-five. Across the twenty-five and go a big old rolling ball of uh, white maroon jerseys out to about the twenty-nine yard line. Right side in a moment. McCauley's on the left side. Yeah, and Michael Mahan is on the right side. So Michael Mahan. Has moved in at the tackle position. Offset in the backfield. The handoff will go to Bernard. Trying to get outside. Caught behind the line. Dropped down at the 28-yard line. It's a true eye with two wides left. And a split in on the right side. No tie it in in this formation. They're going to run the option. Coming back this way. There's the pitch to Bernard at the 30. Tries to go sideline. Stepped out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So third down and six. Need the 39 for a first down. Shallow pocket throw caught by Johnson. First down. Bethel Johnson across the 40, almost the 41-yard line. A little quick pattern there. Johnson wide right. Flanker on the left side's Taylor. Eye formation. Behind McCowan. Tight ends on the left side. Play action. Drop back. Throwing deep sideline. Looking for Bethel Johnson. Overthrowing. He was at the 30. The ball went incomplete at the 25-yard line. High formation on a second down and 10, 13-44 on the third quarter clock. Again, going deep sideline. It's Cole, and he caught the ball and goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They'll give him the 24. Same pattern. Broke the sideline, and Daniel Wilturner once again drew coverage 35 yards to Chris Cole. 70th career reception. First down and 10 at the Baylor 24. Play action again. Drop back at the 30. Forced out of the pocket. Now he's going to try and run. Ankle tackle behind the line at the 26-yard line. Shotgun formation. The ball is snapped. Drop back. Going to throw it out here in the flats to Tombs at the 30, at the 25, at the 20, at the 10. Breaks the tackle. Going to score a touchdown. That one's going to go some 26 yards to Tombs in the flats to the right side. Jamar Tombs, his fourth touchdown of the season. What a nice play, and it was set up beautifully. It was a little flare pass in the flat to Jamar Tombs. Michael Mahan from his right tackle spot got out and broke him loose, got the contained man down, and then Tombs did the rest, broke a tackle about the seven-yard line, took it in for the touchdown. What a nice drive to start the second half for A&M. Here is the point after, and it's good. You needed a nice long drive, and you got one there that started at the Aggie 29-yard uh, line, so they go 71 yards, and Tombs gets the uh, touchdown. He's got 10 carries. 46 yards, two receptions, and 35 yards. Total yards, Tombs now, 81, and the Aggies make it 24 to 6 at 12.50 to go here in the third quarter. 24 to 6, the Aggies ready to kick off. Leckler will have the wind at his back. It's picked up some since the start of the ball game. Sidewinder going to the goal line. 
And they'll return this one from a yard deep. Out to the 15, breaks through, 20, out to the 25, 27, 28. You'll make it the 27-yard line, Dawson. Toombs now, 10 carries, 46 yards, two receptions, 35 yards, 81 in total O. They're going to decline this penalty. Let's look at that last drive. Offsides is going to be declined. First down and 10 at their own 27. Jermaine Alford is under center with a slot left and an eye formation behind him. Shallow pocket throws this way. Caught. And that's going to be a minimal gain. Caught by Fuller. Dropped immediately. There's a second down play. They had a man in motion. Here is Alford stepping up. Almost jersey tackle. Now about to lose his balance. Running to the sideline. Into the sideline he comes. Chased by Rocky Bernard and Chad Franson. All right. Clock at 11.20 and ticket. Single setback. Drop back. They're trying to set up a little screen here to lag away. He caught the ball at about the 22 and then came to this sideline. He was pushed into the sideline by Gamble and Coriot. Atterbury had one punt in the first half. He's got the wind in his face. Takes the snap at the 15. And a scrimmage was the 29. And he has boomed one here that will be taken back at the 14-yard line by Webster at the 30. Spins out of a tackle at the 35 and across the 40 to the 41-yard line. We'll go Jason Webster. A single set, back line of scrimmage, the 41, first and 10 A&M at their own 41-yard line. And the handoff will go to Bernard. Started left, cuts it back now over the middle across the 45 to the 46-yard line. A&M now has scored a school record 139 consecutive games by scoring in this ball game on an interception. That was returned for a TD by Jamison in the first half. So 139 consecutive games to put points on the board. There's a deep pitch to uh, Bernard. Got outside at the 50. Bumped into the sideline across midfield at the Baylor 43. First down, the Aggies. Samin Alamin just made the hit. At the 43, it's an eye formation, a slot to the right. Tight end is Rodera. That's uh, Michael Delatore, the tight end left side, short side of this formation. And it's the sweep again on the pitch back to Bernard. Go to hole. He's going to pick up about eight or nine on a first down and ten. He goes out at the 34. Slot to the right, second down and short. Operating inside. Here is Toombs. He has the first down, trying the left side. Goes down at the 31. First down for the Aggies. And the ball's at the Baylor 31. Hash to the left. I formation. Slot right. Open sides to the right side. Pitch again to Bernard. Lead block. Toombs caught from the side. And brought down. And it will be at the 26-yard line. Split into the left side. The flanker is wide right. Tight ends on the right side. I formation. Going to run to the uh, right on a pitch. Almost tripped up. Bernard maintains his balance. Gets across the 25 and runs to this near sideline and down at the 23. And I think he's asking to come out of the ball game. And they'll bring Stacy Jones in as the fullback and Tombs are the uh, yeah, fullback and Tombs now the tailback on third down and uh, need about two. Tombs will get the 20, has the first down now, is gang tackled inside the 15 at the 14 yard line. Big Jamar Tombs. First down and 10 at the 15. Handoff. That will go to is that Tombs again. Or is it, yeah, it is Tombs. He carries across the 15 to the 12. Two wides to the left. And a tight end on the right. Second down play and about eight. Play action. Roll to the right. Look in end zone. Throw the ball. That's almost intercepted. And it's incomplete in the end zone trying to get a diving Bethel Johnson. We're going to get a uh, timeout. And it'll be called by Baylor with the Aggies facing third down and eight with 6.55 to go in the third. And A&M leading Baylor by a score of 24 to six. A single setback. Split in right. Two to the left. Tight end on the left side. Waiting on the snap, there it is. Throws, caught over the middle, and it is a... Is it down a touchdown? Yes. Caught over the middle, either by a, a Hodge or Cole. It was a quick slant. It is Leroy Hodge. Quick slant, and what a great catch. All hands. The ball was drilled in there. He caught it in his hands, was able to slice into the end zone for the touchdown. Official on this near side never made a, a signal, and the official coming in from the far side finally gave us the touchdown sign. So the Aggies at 6.50 to go in the third, put another touchdown on the board. A little high on the snap, controlled here by uh, Leckler, and the extra point is good by Terrence Kitchens. And the Aggies now lead Baylor 31-6 to with 6.50 to go in the third quarter here at Kyle Field. The Aggies leading Baylor. 
There's the kickoff by Leckler. It's going to go into the end zone. They'll take the knee, bring it out to the 20. First down and 10. Baylor at their 20. The Aggies lead 31 to 6. Play action, rolling right. Jermaine Offord is going to throw it out. He'll just throw it away. Flanker to the right, and you've got a slot to the left. Single setback behind Jermaine Alford. Second down and 10. They will go to Bush. Good old 5 10. He's uh, going to pick up about 15, 16, 7. Now he's got about all the way out to the 39 yard line. He got 29 yards, or uh, rather, was it 29? 19 yards. Is that what it is? 19 on that carry. First down and 10. Baylor hash right. Two wides to the left. High formation. And off goes to Bush. Almost caught in the backfield. He'll get a yard out of that. Slowed up in the backfield and carries to the 40. Turned into a beautiful afternoon here in College Station. Lots of sunshine now after a very cloudy and uh, foggy day on the start. Here is a throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Dawson. Caught it at the 43. Trying to run away from the pursuit. They can't outrun Jamison at the 43-yard line. It's third down coming up. Need about six from their own 43. It'll shovel pass forward. Bush, big hole. He's crossed the 40 to the 30 to the 20. He's down inside the 15, all the way down to the 11 yard line. First down and 10 operating at the Aggie 12. Bush on the handoff, trying wide right, bottled up. Flag goes down. And on a running play, that will go from the spot. All the way back at the 16-yard uh, line, so this is going to be a big penalty against uh, Baylor. Tackled at the line of scrimmage on a uh, first down and 10. Holding, Holding against the Baylor. Offense. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat the down. First down and 10 back at the 22. Hash to the right. Lone setback for Baylor. Fuller goes in motion. Drops back to the 30. There was a there was they movement moved. in the offensive line for Baylor. They're going to get penalized again. First down now and 25. They've got to get down to the Aggie 2. 4.17 to go in the third. Osteen goes in motion. Pivots comes back this way. Drop back, throw the ball. There's going to be defensive pass interference on Texas A&M. On the play. Pass interference on the defense. There was a tip on the play, but it occurred after the contact. Bush is the only uh, running back behind uh, Alfred. As the ball drops back, now he just gave it on a delay out of the backfield to Bush. Across the 20 to the 17-yard line. A pickup there of about three. Rocky Bernard made that stunt. Darrell Bush stays in as the only running back. Split in left. Flanker's not in motion. Coming back this way. Drop back, step up. Now he's going to try. Now he'll throw the ball, going in zone. And is up over everybody's head. Coggle was down there, but it was over his head. That sailed out of the back of the end zone as an incomplete pass. Osteen comes back in, and also the tight end, Andre, uh, Andrew Obriati. There's movement. John Coriot faking uh, the blitz inside. He made the left guard flinch. And the Ags will pick up five on the penalty. Greg German, the sophomore out of El Paso. Move. Dead ball prior to the snap. False start on the offense. Five yards. Osteen was in a slot. He goes left to right. Here's Offer. Out in the flats. Goes to Bush. Trying to set up a screen. And it's read well by Ron Edwards. He dropped him at the 20-yard line. Atterbury today is good from 52, 54, and missed on 54, 27, and missed it on his last effort. Here's the snap, the spot, blocks! Recovered by the Aggies at about the 26-yard line. A block on that one. That was Matt Baumgartner. He came up the middle and jumped up and, and knocked the ball down. A leaping Matt Baumgartner knocks it down. I take it back. That may be 91. It's, it's Bo 91, Smith. It's not Bo 81. Smith. Yes. So the Aggies get it at their own 26. Baylor comes today. No points. 238 to go in the third. Aggies ahead 31 to 6. Want to air it out here. Dropping back now. Throwing deep. And here is Cole off his fingertips at the Baylor 46 on the sideline. Second down and 10. Jones. Here's the uh, lead back, and it looks like that will be uh, Weber. Weber will carry, and indeed is him, to the 25-yard line. That is Joel Weber. Here's third down, and uh, scoreboard says 11. The snap, play action, 
McCallan under pressure, got a block, now runs up near the line of scrimmage. Here's Johnson, caught it! He's going to score a touchdown from about the 27-yard line. 75 yards. Bethel. Randy McCowan on the move. Under a little bit of pressure, he rolled to his right. That bought him a lot of time. Bethel Johnson running a post pattern, and from a dead run, Randy McCowan hit him, hit Bethel Johnson on the dead run. And that one will go for 74 yards. McCowan to Bethel Johnson for another Aggie touchdown. That's his first touchdown since he uh, had a TD reception against Louisiana Tech, 74 yards. Here's the extra point attempt, and it's on the board. Aggies now lead 37-6, to make it 38-6. to There's the extra point. A minute 46 to go in the third quarter. The Aggies up over Baylor, 38-6. to Leckler is set to kick off. Again with a wind at his back, a minute 46 to go in the third. Here's the kickoff. And the two return men, Dossett and Davis, couldn't make their mind up who was going to take it. That one rolls out of the back of the end zone. Got Mark Ferris warming up here on the sideline, and Nuts Van Smith warming up. Here's Baylor running on first down and 10. Second down and nine. Single setback again, throwing over the middle, caught by the tight end. Thompson, good gainer. He's to midfield, being chased by the Aggies, and now drug down across the 35 to the 31. Official spot, the 34-yard line. First down and 10 at the Aggie, 34. 34 seconds remaining of the third. AM leading 38 to 6. The snap, draw out of the backfield. That'll be a white. Good yardage down to the 25-yard line, shy of a first down. That will be all of the third quarter. Whistles will blow, and they'll move to the other end. Baylor will have it. Second down and one to start the fourth, and the Aggies ahead of this game by a score of 38 to 6. Here is Baylor, second down and a yard from the Aggie, 25, and they'll hand off to Bush, caught in the backfield. He got back to the 25, did not get a first down. High formation, two tight ends. Flinger way left, handoff will go to the fullback. And that will, because that's going to be Barnett, I guess. He's going to carry down about the 22, and Chad Franson just made that stop. All right, first down and 10. And Offord wants to throw, incomplete. Oh, got two flags, way. One comes all the way from the end zone. Stops at 13.56 to go here in the fourth. AM and leading Baylor, 38-6. to uh, six. The Aggies now have had three nice offensive drives in the second half. First down and 10, ball spotted at the 19. Slot to the left, single setback, drop back to the 25. Looking left, now rolling to the right, still looking down the field. Gets by a man at the 20, all the way down to the 11-yard line will go Jermaine Alford. Break the huddle, come to the line with a trips formation to the left side. Tie it in is Obriati on the right side. One of the trips came in motion this way. Throw the ball, deflected up in the air, incomplete. They were trying to get that to uh, Osteen around the six. That ball was tipped. Here's third down and two from the 11-yard line. Run the option. Now here's the pitch, looking for the corner. Bush, fumble the ball, it's still on the turf, and the Aggies have just knocked it out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Baylor. Jermaine Offord calling signals, hands off. It goes to Barnett. Did he get the first down? I think they've spotted him at the 10. The official on the far side's coming over to spot the ball. He's going to be short, Dave. He will be. Chad Franson cut his legs out from underneath him. They're going to give it the eye measurements. We can't see the ball because the officials have surrounded it down around the 10-yard line. Yeah, but Baylor's leaving the field, yeah. so that's your indication There's the that ball the Aggies at the 10. back. Yeah, right at the 10. Mark Ferris will come in now to quarterback the team on first down and 10 at the Aggie 10. So Ferris seeing some action here for the first time since Tulsa. He'll hand off to Weber, caught at the 11-yard line as they tried the right side. Flag goes down. I think it's going to be, be an illegal substitution. Against a &M. So Ferris will move in 6-2, 2, two a freshman from Angleton. Throw the ball four times, two completions. The 12 9 showing on the clock. I formation behind Ferris. Quick snap, throws out in the flats, caught by Bumgarner, trying to juke in. Gets by him for a little bit. Moves it across the 10 and out of bounds. 
tackle by and about the 14 and yard line. I don't know if he got out or not. The uh, clock is continuing to roll. So on the sideline at the 13 and a half, and that'll be Stacy Jones. There's the snap. He pumps. Now he wants to throw. He's going deep to the sideline, and, and uh, he overthrows his man plus the uh, defender on that play. We'll take the snap at the goal line. Line of scrimmage about the 13 and a half. There it comes, a little bit low. They're coming, but they're picked up. Here's the kick. Calling for a fair catch at first, and now it's going to get an Aggie roll. It hit about the 42-yard line. Baylor's end of the field rolls down to the Baylor 32-yard line. There it's killed by the punt coverage team. Well, Baylor's got the ball now, first down and 10 at their own 33. Leckler's kick a moment ago. His first of the second half went 53 yards. Jermaine Offer dancing around, going to be sacked back inside the 25 by Royland Bradley at the 23-yard line. A sack for Bradley. Leckler now three kicks today and has a 52-yard average. He had a 57-yard average last week against Texas Tech. It was the seventh time he's been over 50 yards. Aggies are blitzing. They're going to throw the ball. It's knocked up in the air on a deflection, almost interception. Intercepted by Rocky Bernard. Ags lead 38-6, to 10-27 to go in the game. Shotgun. Snapped it over his shoulder. Back, picks it up, rolls back to the 10. Now he's going sideline, into the sideline he goes. Harry Nichols caught him at the 20, and they went out of bounds at the 20-yard line. This is going to be the 90th win of the decade of the 1990s for Texas A&M football. One of the best records in the country. They tried for another block and almost got it. Atterbury got this one away. It's going to be taken at the Aggie 42 by Webster at the 50. Missed a man, missed him. He's down the sideline, 30. He's going to score. There's a flag down, flag down, back at the 38-yard line. He has scored, but let's see the meaning of the flag at the 38. Uh, wipe out a very exciting play by back, Jason Webster. By the return team, 10 yards from the spot of the fall, first down, Texas A&M. Ferris on the last possession. This time it'll be Vance Smith, 6'4", 235, freshman redshirt. Grand Prairie and then Fort Worth Christian. An eye formation behind it. Bernard, I think, is the tailback. Stacy Jones is the fullback. Tight ends on the left side, slot right. Shallow pocket. Knocked down as he tries to throw back to the right side, looking for Chris Cole out in the flats, way out right side near midfield. Eye formation again behind Vance Smith. Vance Smith is now three out of seven throwing the ball after that incomplete knockdown. Waiting for a snap. There it is. It's going to be a pitch. They're going to go right. Looking for an outside block. Bernard across the 50. Ankle tackled and brought down at the 34 from the backside by Sean Armistead. That saved a touchdown. High formation behind Vance Smith. And he's signaling something toward the Baylor defense. Waiting for the snap. He has it. Gives it to Bernard. Good hole over the uh, right side. Got a good block there. And it just hit nine minutes as A&M comes to the line. Second down and six with the eye formation slot left. Smith play action, drops back, steps up, throws, and it is caught down at the three by Cole. They'll spot him officially at the two-yard line. Great throw by Vance Smith. What a strong arm. It's a, a frozen rope. That was good for 28 yards. Boy, did he show some arm strength with this one. Full house backfield, two tight ends. High formation, and then the man flexed off to the left side. And the handoff will go to Bernard, into the end zone, and a touchdown, Eric Bernard. It's his first touchdown of the season. Aggies just put it up to 44 before the point after. Terrence is going to be uh, knocking on the door if he's not already there of 60 points for the year. Extra point is up, and it's good. Now the Aggies make it 45-6 to six of his last 32 games. Here's the kickoff. That'll be taken at the six by uh, Dossett. Back to the 20, wrapped up, brought down at about the 24-yard line. Had the kickoff duties that time. First down and 10, ball moved back to the eight. They have changed quarterbacks. There's a handoff as they get back to the 10. Mike Odom will come in. It's the first time he has played this year. Christian Rodriguez made the stops. There's Lonnie Madison also in the lineup. Down at eight. Single running back. 
And that man will get the handoff. Bottled up in the backfield and dropped down back around the seven. I think that's Adrian White. White will be stopped, a freshman from Warren. Third down and 11. Odom's under center, has the ball, dropped up, a handoff in the backfield to White. He gets back to the six-yard line, lost a yard on that. And the last time they punted, Jason Webster returned it for a touchdown, but it came back because of a penalty. Johnson far side, Webster uh, on the near side and on a bounce now. Bethel's going to pick it up, got a block, it's kind of clearing out. Oh, another great block at the 40-yard line, and the return back to the 30. <laughs> and that, that was Jay Brooks. And the man that he knocked down to a little Pace. woozy, and so is uh, Jay Brooks. He's woozy. <laughs> they just replayed it here at the uh, stadium. At the 30, the tackle was finally made, and everybody was concentrating on that hit. That was a dandy. And <laughs> here's the handoff as they return back to the line of scrimmage with Texas A&M, and they pick up of about three yards to the 27-yard line. Mark Ferris has returned as the quarterback. Honeycutt and Weber are the running backs. And the pitch is coming back to Weber, looking for the left corner, cuts it back to his right. Goes across the 25 to about the 22. Big Mike Kazmersky now is in at the tight end on the uh, right side, getting some PT here. 6'4", 277, senior, two letters out of Bryant. I formation, pitch to the right side. Now oh, the ball is fumbled. Pitch I don't think was a good one. And Weber will fall on it at the 24-yard line. It was a third down and three. Now fourth down coming up. But it's fourth down, and here we go with Kitchens trying a 41-yarder. We'll see where they officially spot that. That's been Locked. blocked, and now it's been picked up by Baylor. We're going the other way, and is that Baxter going to go all the way, and he will go into the end zone. And everything, apparently, Baxter got the block, and I think Will Turner picked it up. And he'll score a touchdown. To give Daniel Will Turner credit for that one. And the extra point is up, and it's good. That makes it 45 to 13 with 4:01 remaining of the ball game. Aggies leading Baylor. This is the Texas Aggie Radio Network. Eric Bernard is the return man. They're up around the Aggie 25 to 30, and they're going to kick it away. And he'll kick it into the end zone uh, with E. Matter of fact, through the end zone with that wind at his back. And John Kirk now has moved out uh, as the center. He's out over the ball. He came in here in January, 6'4", 282, a freshman out of Athens. Checked into school in January after graduation from Athens high. There's a pitch going back to Weber. Started right, cuts it back to his left, spins away from a man, gets five yards to the 25-yard line. Vance with a great pass in this ball game down to Cole. Here is the handoff again to Weber. Fights for the first down. Got the first down with second effort. And a man around his waist and one on his ankle, Will Turner. Gazmerski is the tight end on the left side. It's an eye formation. Matt Smith calling signals, and he just handed off to Stacy Jones. Uh, the walk-on uh, fullback out of Midland uh, will carry out to the 34-yard line. The series started in 18 99. They've played 95 games. A pitch back here to Weber. 40-yard line wrapped up as he hits the 42, 43-yard line. Joe Weber again. Nice run. First down A&M. First down and 10 at the 43. Vance Smith. He lined up behind the guard. I don't think he was moving around telling some folks. I don't know if he did that or not. In high formation with two wides to the right. And the handoff again goes to Weber. He's across the 45 fighting for extra yardage as he goes to the Aggie 49-yard line. But J.P. LeComp, a walk-on tight end, is in the lineup as well. Split wide to the left side and two wides to the right with an eye. Hand off again goes to Weber's. Uh, hit as he crosses the line of scrimmage, and he gets the Baylor 48 shy of a first down. On second down and a four. It'll be third down and a yard coming up. Now the clock will go under a minute before the next play. Third down and short. Vance Smith's the quarterback now for the Aggies. Takes the uh, snap, hands off to Weber, bounces outside, looking for a first down. Is he going to get it? He did not get the first down. He kept stringing that out to the right side, and he was finally brought down at the Baylor 49 by Samin Alamont. Young man out of Garland. Should and, be the last uh, play. Down to 20 seconds, and we won't snap the ball again. And the Aggies will win this one 45-30. Offense got it rolling now in his second half. 
Yeah. A&M will let the last 10 seconds run off the clock and will not snap the ball again. Keep the spirit alive. Aggies don't let Aggies drink and drive for a safe drive home called Carpool. Caring Aggies are protecting our lives. Carpool, 693-9905. Final score, 45-13. to Texas A&M has defeated Baylor. Aggies now moved to 4-1 and one for the year, 1-1 one and one in the Big 12. Baylor drops back to 1-5. and five. They are 0-3 oh in the Big 12. This is the Texas Aggie Radio Network. Well, I thought we did better today. I thought we ran the ball better and uh, uh, still, uh, you know, not totally pleased with our performance uh, on either side of the ball. But I, I think it's, it's always encouraging when you can, can uh, play a game like that and win by that margin and still say, you know, we, we, we still got a lot of work to do. You know, we just uh, too many, still too many mistakes and Penalties always irritate me, and you know, we had some some penalties today that were really disappointing. So we just a lot of little things that we that we still uh, continue to 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 not look, you know, as I would like for us to look. Oh, I, I think probably uh, all of us were relieved <laughs> to to get it in. You know, uh, uh, that's that's been something that's been one of those real annoying things that we've had to live with. And, and when you go through, and I've, I've been asked a number of times what the problem was, why, you know, why this. I, I was searching for a definitive answer. I, I didn't have one. It was a combination of a number of things. And uh, today, we did better. Still, again, uh, still obviously have a lot of work to do. Yeah, you know, like Dave Shaw said, we got a touchdown, you know, that whole thing. So finally, you know, we came out and uh, got it in the red zone. I think, you know, finally got over that hump. Now things we get that pressure off of us and just relax and go play ball. Well, I think we were able to hit some passes down the field and loosen them up a little bit. You know, they came out and played the eight-man front, and, uh, you know, we tried to run against it a little bit, and they, uh, you know, they had more guys up there than we could block at times. And so I think in the second half, we were able to come out and take advantage of some of the, the structures that they were putting us and throw the ball down the field, you know, hit Chris Cole and, and, uh, you know, then we hit uh, B.J. Bethel on the post. And so I thought that was real big. Obviously, there was def definitely some improvement. Um, in, in, you know, our first goal, we came out, we wanted to score a touchdown. Hadn't, uh, something we hadn't done in a couple of games and something we felt we had to get done immediately. And, uh, you know, we, we accomplished that. But um, we improved, obviously. You know, we, we put 40-some on the board and, and we improved. Um, regardless of who the team is, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go out every game and, and, and try to improve our offensive game and, and our running game especially. And, and Randy did, an, did a great job. And to Chris Cole. And, and uh, I, I think the offensive line played, played better tonight. But um, we're definitely, uh, we, take, we take a lot of pride on our offensive line of establishing a strong running game and uh, time to protect.